Hey guys, so we're going to 94 and today, if you can't tell in front of you, I got a package. Now, this box day, I'm going to have to record a little differently because my sister is using what I usually record to do a job application, so... And ignore any loud noises. I have to actually be very careful with this box because... Wow, no bubble wrap or nothing. I can see the figure. I didn't even bubble wrap it. What's called? I actually did a trade. Whereas I did give this guy money, obviously. But I also traded him because I didn't have all the money exactly, and I needed to trade him something in return. So, what did I trade him? You may ask. I traded him these two figures for his little brother. I don't use ban I don't collect Bandai's anymore, and they have the SH Montorts of both of these, so traded both of these plus 70 bucks for this. Box has a crack in it. There's the figure. So I have to save that box. Here's the figure. It is the SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla. You may be thinking to yourself, wait a minute. Why would you get this when I got the ultimate version coming out? It's because I prefer the original with the white spines. So in front of the box, this is where I sense a little crack. There's a little crack right here. Side of the box. Back of the box. Yeah. So let's get him out of his prison. Box is really cool. Crack though, which I always hate. I hate it when boxes aren't. 100% perfect condition. No tape. I'm not surprised. First off, little tanks. See if I can get better lighting on this. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Little tanks, which are almost identical. two alternate hands which these are actually useful because I actually lost my burning I mean my rebirth Godzilla's hands um the one set at least okay let me get everything Ooh, he's squishy very very squishy Ooh, wow just to let you guys know he's so hot that the plastic on the spines are melting I may have to super glue that back on. But I always like things back the way they were. So let me box back together. It's a very, very pretty box. Like one of my like honestly this box is beautiful. Maybe one of my favorite SH Monster Art boxes today. Date. I don't know why I said today. But yeah. So I'm gonna have to stick this guy in the freezer for a little because plastic on his spines, the glue melted a little. I'm not even joking. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Wow, really gappy. I see what people are talking about. Yep, same. Oh crap, there goes his tail. <laughs> you can't see anything. Just popped out the top of his tail. <laughs> because this guy's really warm. Warm. What is wrong with my English today? Warm. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to stick this guy in the freezer for a little. The SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla. Very awesome figure. And I gotta say, this is why I said he's really squishy. Just look at this. I can bend them. They're not supposed to bend. And the glue on this spine is coming off. Very cool figure. And look at that gap, though. I'm gonna be able to fix that, but the translucent on this, the pictures do not do it justice. It is amazingly beautiful. And the white spines are gorgeous. Accessories, like I said, two alternate hands, and two tanks I really don't care about. Thank y'all for watching. Let's see if I can get some more better lighting on this guy. Uh, maybe? Okay. Enjoy the video. Let me see if I can scoot my camera forward a bit so you can get a more close-up picture. 
you enjoy this video, leave a like, a comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.